And Lee, before I let you go, um, interesting to note in the ABC's Nemesis documentary, uh, Turnbull did call the Snowy Hydro uh, one of his most proudest achievements while he was in power. Did he do the right thing uh, by Snowy? Yeah. Where did the oh, stuff up start occurring? <clears throat> well, I'm interested to see, because when I left Snowy 18 months ago, we had an audit and which said the thing was on track and on budget, so <laughs> something seems to have gone awfully wrong. What's gone um, wrong there? I think I'd love to understand that a little bit more. It seems to be when the political process changed, things started to go awry. Certainly, uh, Bowen didn't want me around, so, um, you know, maybe, maybe there? there's Is, something in all that. Why didn't, like why didn't Bowen like you? Why doesn't Bowen like you? Uh, maybe saw me tied too much to the things I loved and a bit passionate about it and was frank and free. Maybe saw me, for whatever reason, despite the fact I walked the all side of politics, maybe saw me politically tainted. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, mean, I knew well before the government was elected that I'd be in trouble. Yeah. Did anyway, you, he did. How did you get, <laughs> those, how did you get that uh, memo? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it didn't. It, 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 it's a long story there. It was another day I talked to you about, but um, okay. it doesn't really matter. I don't really matter in the scheme of things. I just worry about the fact that this wonderful scheme, like Turnbull, I'm very proud of it. I tell you, I'm incredibly proud of it, and I'm very proud of the people down there who do a great job. And I'm pretty proud of the mountains, and uh, <laughs> I'll defend with every bone in my body, and I'll call out when I, when I think it's wrong. So it's a good thing. So Turnbull's right in that respect, and Turnbull, with all these all the critics, he worked incredibly hard to bring it bring it to fruition. There's no doubt about that. Malcolm worked phenomenally hard. I've never seen a prime minister, I've dealt with a few of them, spend as much time as he did on all parts of this project. So um, mm. no, he he did. He was he was very constructive in getting it to the stage it did at the point when. You know, the point when certainly I left 18 months ago was in great shape. Yeah, right. Well, we'll try and find out what happened there, Paul. Uh, good to finally have you on the show. We'll talk again. Sure, we'll, Laura. Talk soon. Bye.